Well, there it is. That is the issue. Lifeblood standing for what Ring of Honor is all about. They did not take kindly to that fake championship and help stand guard as Jay Lethal destroyed it. That's why we're here today. Vinny and TK not so enthused, Nick, all this, that Lifeblood was complicit in a murder. Yes, well, you know, anytime you get a situation that becomes this personal, there's always some fallout and the overrun of that situation between Taven and Jay Hold Lethal. Up. Oh, wait a minute. And speaking of Matt Taven, this is supposed to be a tag team contest, a tag team affair. But uh, what's it? He's, got a, he's got a world title match. What's yeah. he doing out here right yeah, now? This is, this is an unforced error by Taven. We talked about. I cannot sit back there another minute, not another second. You see what happened on that video? The disrespect to the real Ring of Honor World Champion. I cannot stand another Melvin like you saying that Jay Lethal is the world champion. No, 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 no. I'm the world champion, so I'm ready right now, Jay. I'm not waiting another second. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this. Yeah, he can't do this. This is the main event. This, this is the, the big one. The Ring of Honor World Championship. Is he trying to change the process? Of he wants to get it going right now. But he, I mean, is Jay Lethal that? I, I can't even imagine. I mean, we're playing Jay Lethal's we're music. Playing. I know he's got an extensive stretching routine. Yeah, there's no way he's ready. He's stretching. He's getting ready. He, Nick, what before, is he doing? I gotta tell you, I love it. Before you a world title what? defense, you you have Nick. I mean, this you can't just be called out like this. What? It's almost unfair. He can't We're, possibly be ready. I love what Matt Taven is doing right now. You know why? Because he is playing on Jay Lethal's ego. He know Jay Lethal is the world champion. He can call the shots. I know what that's like. I'm the real world champion, let's be real. But, see, this is where Jay's ego comes into play because Jay's gonna come out right now because he's been challenged. I think he's baited in, he's baited. Absolutely. 30. Taven is ready, and Jay, look at Jay. This is a mistake, Jay Lethal. 39 defenses, yeah. the most total time yeah. ever with the Ring of Honor World Championship. And, and, and Tots and Claire saying they're both ready. But, but think about Following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Introducing first to my right, the challenger. Wrestling out of Boston, Massachusetts. He meant the champ. Weighing 227 pounds, he is a co-holder of the Ring of Honor World Six-Man Tag Team Championship, and is representing the kingdom Man Taven! His opponent to my left is wrestling out of Elizabeth, New Jersey. Weighing 215 pounds, he is the Ring of Honor World Champion, Jay Lethal! 39 defenses, most recently against TK Ryan at Honor Rising. The most combined days ever for Ring of Honor World Champion, Jay Lethal. The definitive greatest Ring of Honor World Champion of all time, Matt Taven. And then we got the tail of the tape here. I'm a little thrown off, I'm a little stunned. I, I don't I agree with it. this at all. Yeah. I don't agree, there's a process you go through. These guys aren't supposed to be up for an hour, okay? An hour. And, and yeah, that, that's no, no. got a favor yeah, Taven. Yeah, no, that's right, which is exactly why he's done this. Because yeah. Taven knew he was gonna do this. He's been planning for this from day one, I can tell you right now. So Taven's warmed up. Taven is stretched, Look Taven at Jay. is ready. Look at Jay Lethal, do you see any sweat on him? No. Oh, and here we go! No code of honor! Right big trade in the center of the ring. These two men's legacies have been intertwined since 2014 when they feuded over the Ring of Honor World Television Championship and now here in 2019 competing for the richest prize in Ring of Honor. It's Lethal, it's Taven, and it's Taven who only had one Singles championship opportunity. This is what you have to do if you want to be world champion. No more messing about, no warming up in the bullpen. Get on with it. He's only had one singles opportunity in nearly 700 days. Well, and it's a man who's main evented in Mexico, main evented in Japan. This man has earned it and deserved it. 
but he's not done it the right way. Well, let's see if he can put the conspiracy to rest. He said he's done it a long time ago. This is the way to do it. I'm disagreeing with it because I'm definitely going Two. for lethal, but that was a smart move, okay? He pulled him definitely out of his game plan. Now they're gonna get it on because they don't get along. And this match yeah. so divisive. So many fans are checking in using the hashtag. ROH17 still trending in the United States. We're gonna go wire to wire tonight, but it's lethal and Taven. I see we continue to climb the ladder throughout the paper. A few fans are checking in. They're torn between Lethal and Taven. Front face lock here from the champion. Ow! I want to tell you something else that I'm thinking about right now as I watch this. Think about this. If Taven had that trick up his sleeve, does he have anything else up his sleeve for this matchup? Well, there are two people that are normally around him that we don't see. Right. I Who would have are we to supposed say yes. to be watching right now? Double to the midsection, trying to break the grip. Side headlock takeover, and if you remember, Matt Taven, Jay Lethal, two of the best records here in Ring of Honor. The last time Matt Taven was pinned here in Ring of Honor was by Jay Lethal on Jay Lethal's quest for redemption before he challenged for the Ring of Honor title again. Two, but it was Matt Taven who picked up a victory over Jay Lethal about a year and one month ago, a year two months ago. Cover one, two. I say, we, we saw Kelly Klein just miss her opportunity to regain the Women of Honor Championship because of her ego, and we may see Jay Lethal lose the Ring of Honor World Championship because of his ego, I which disagree. is huge, by the way. I disagree. I disagree. I Get out of Jay town, Lethal. Caprice. I, he's like, an egomaniac. He plays the nice guy, but in reality, he's an egomaniac. Oh, he's he's an egomaniac. Walks around this place, he walks around backstage like he owns the place Ooh, because like, he's the Ring of Honor World Champion. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of solidifies it. And now... When he could have he could have taken his time and said, "Hey, this isn't where we were scheduled to be to compete." Instead, he comes flying out here, all guns blazing. And if he loses, he's got no one to blame but himself. So, what would you have done? You'd have, you'd have stayed in the back. Ooh, big elbow trap there. Going for the cover. One, two. So, if you were put in the same situation, all this, would you have stayed in the back? And what do you think I would have done? I'm, I think you would have stayed in the I'm, back. I'm the, I'm the most cerebral oh, world Jay. champion in decades. That's why oh, I'm endorsed Jay. by Dory Funk Jr. Oh. and Harley Race. When we think about the great history of Ring of Honor, the world championship has changed hands three times at our anniversary events. Ooh, and twice in Las Vegas, Adam Cole and Christopher Daniels. And that speaks to, to Jay Lethal's history. Something I wanted to bring up as I'm scattering through my notes here. Jay Lethal in big matches in Las Vegas. Las Vegas might not be his town. He lost the world championship here in 2016. Ooh, he lost last year here in Las Vegas at 16th anniversary with the world title on the line. There's something about Las Vegas and world championship matches that I don't think agrees with Jay well, Lethal. Well, I'll tell you what it is, because Las Vegas makes money off of gamblers. The gamblers don't succeed here. The house succeeds in Vegas, and Matt Taven is the house because he's the one who's calling the shots. And right now, Jay Lethal doing his best to hedge the odds here, hooking the leg covers. And of course, these two men have a four and four, four, four and one record against one another. Number one, two, couldn't be more evenly matched, but it was Matt Taven who actually has the most recent pinfall in six man tag action. The two of you did a fantastic job calling the action down in Florida, where Taven pinned Lethal in six man action. Yeah, and it's extremely rare to ever see Jay Lethal get pinned, so that was a huge deal. We know Matt Taven can pull it off, it's just can he pull it off in singles competition? Hey, when you look across the ring and you look a man in the eye and he's pinned you one, two, three, and you know it, it does something to you. And right now, you're looking at two guys who hate each other's guts. Not only does it do something to you if you've been beat, but if you know you can pin the world champion because you've done Two. it before, you know you can do it again. Right, the momentum is firmly in Matt Taven's side right now, and that's a huge deal when you're the challenger because there's a thing called a championship advantage, and you have to do everything you can to negate that if you're the challenger. Well, I'm gonna throw the wild card out here. What, you know, we know the history between these two. We've spoken about it. We've seen it on Ring of Honor television. But think about this, the winner goes on to Madison Square Garden in the biggest event in the history of Ring of Honor in New Japan as the Ring of Honor World Champion. The world's most famous arena. It's all on the line here in Sin City. Cover one, two. Using the hips to kick out is lethal. Look at Taven leaning all his weight on Jay. Jay doesn't want him to get that lock because you know if he does that, he's going to cut off the circulation, cut off the oxygen. Very strategic. I, Taven has a game plan tonight. Yes, he does. Certainly does materializing before our eyes this. here in Las Vegas. And, and it almost has multiple pieces to it because he, he caught him off guard trying to Cover. come out early. And now his game plan here is staying on him. He's actually wrestling. No. 
Yeah, Matt Taven is a very accomplished wrestler. Let's not forget, only two people have held titles in Ring of Honor New Japan at CMLL. It's Matt Taven, it's Rocky Romero. Matt Taven has headlined Ooh. CMLL's signature event, the anniversary show there, the 85th anniversary, and in less than, in less than 12 months, he could headline the 85th anniversary and Madison Square Garden. Matt Taven is a big money player, and you know, I just wish he would have done it in the ring. I'll tell you this, if he wants to be a big money player, he needs to stop messing around with the mouth breathers at ringside and concentrate on his opponent in the middle of the ring because he's in there for the world championship and everything is at stake. Well, there are half the people here that believe Matt Taven is the real, real champion, and there's half the people here that actually think with their minds, and uh, this crowd is split. Well, half the people in here probably think the earth is flat. Let's be real. And as we see, Lethal with a dragon oh, spur leg whip. And that's, yeah, the, that's yep. the surgically repaired knee. Absolutely. That's the knee he blew out, the ACL, the MCL, back at Final Battle 2015. Now you have to ask yourself, did Jay Lethal intentionally do that because of that, or he, did, did he do that out of instinct? I got to think a little bit of column A and column B. I don't want to ever underestimate the champ. By the way, he's bought himself some time, which is absolutely what he needed. Look, he's gasping for air. Yeah. And, and, and look, when you talk about endurance, I'll give the devil his due. Jay Lethal has some of the best cardio I've ever seen. I, I agree with you on that one. And but to see Jay he's Lethal, suffering. To see him gasping for air is not something you see every day. Nice thrust kick setting him up. Could it be an early attempt maybe at the Lethal uh, injection? Too early for that. Yeah. Too early for that. Taven catches it. Now single leg takedown. Lethal looking for a figure four. No. Gets out of it to Taven. Catches the inside cradle. One, two. Oh, ooh. The cradle of doom. Look at that single leg takedown. Oh, oh and Taven. No, that's not going to work. Off the ropes, misses with just the tip of the knee. Knife edge chop, missed it, said lethal going for the lethal ejection, caught by Taven. And Taven looking no. for the climax. No, up and over now, Taven. This exchange, lethal, and wow. wow. Spinning heel oh. kick, turns Jay lethal inside out. Matt Taven has come to play. He's Matt prepared. Taven has everything scouted, and look at the look on his face right now. He has come to win. Jay Lethal could have separated his shoulder there in that rotation. That kick came out of nowhere. We'll take a look at the replay here. Up and over. Look at his shoulder. Ooh, right, right there. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He could have dislocated it. And, and fans, I have some breaking news. Real we understand. Not David. You're nothing. I'm really concerned right now. We have some trash talk from Taven. We have some breaking news. Jeff Cobb has challenged Will Ospreay for Madison Square Garden. Wow. Title for title. World television title. Never open weight title. And as we're in this match that will decide the main event, the main event of Madison Square Garden, another big match has been added. Just tearing at lethal. And of course, and that could all depend yeah. on the New Japan Cup as well. Yeah, I'm really concerned about this left Come shoulder on. of Lethal, too. I'm really concerned about it. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. If you saw it in the replay, he landed directly on it, and that could change the complexion of the match, and he could be injured. Well, but Jay Lethal's not going to say he's can, injured. He's going to fight. Well, you say that, but you can, you can, you know, you can, uh, there's, there's, there's something to be said Look. for disguising your pain, and Jay can't do it. He's favoring that shoulder, Ooh. which is a big mistake. Oh, my this goodness. Is, this is he what went I'm right saying. on his head. When you're at a point where you can't disguise the pain, you're hurt and you're hurt bad, and he's still looking at that shoulder. I'm really concerned that he could be injured right now. Now. But the type of person that Jay Lethal is, he takes on a fight schedule that nobody will take on, and, and he could be hurt right now, and he won't tell anybody. Yeah, but what was that? The wink, the kiss? Is that for well, the Honor Club girls, for the Kingdom girls on Twitter? I love him, and I'm sure Matt Taven does too. But that baloney, he's in a world title match with Madison Square Garden on the line. Get out there, roll hey, him hey, in the ring. Hey, calm down, him. calm down, Rick Boney. Your Jay Lethal membership card is showing out of your pocket here. Ooh. Knife edge chops delivered by Jay yeah, Lethal. But it's delivered with the right hand. He's not even moving that left one. Off the ropes, drop kick. Look Staggers Taven, and down he goes. Look at him. All right, you can't capitalize. Yep, you can't. He, he can't because he's hurt. He's separating for a reason. And just like you said, a lot of times when somebody hurts him, if they stay away, they're trying to recover themselves. Lethal is legitimately hurt, and I'm worried about the champion at this point. Well, and could that be could that be an issue about not being not having ample time to warm up? We it's talked about that before. A he thousand percent the, the reason why. A thousand percent. Ooh. Driving the knee into the back, hooking the leg cover, two. 
I'll tell you, if I'm Jay Lethal, what I'm going to do now is, is, is try and answer with an injury of my own. I'm going to uh, pick a body part on Matt Taven and go to work. Well, let me tell you something about Jay oh, Lethal. Jay Lethal's yeah. a true champion. Anybody else, like a Nick Aldis oh, maybe, God. could walk away and get a count out and still be champion. Jay Lethal's not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to let that one slide, and we're going to continue to call the action. Oh. But Reese, tell me I'm wrong. You know you're in the presence of the real world's champion. And I'm living my best life. Now shooting the half instead, rolls him halfway through, delivering the knees to the back. Focusing on the back is Lethal right now. Lethal's game plan now revealing itself, becoming yes. apparent here in the Las lower Vegas. back, the area that he's decided to work on. And do you think, Nick, uh, Caprice, when you're in the ring and you, and you gotta wrestle a little bit earlier than you anticipated, does it take a little longer for this to materialize? Usually Lethal's game plan is so apparent right away, and now it, it took a few minutes into the match to start to see it. Well, yeah, because your adrenaline's probably going too fast, but your body isn't catching up. So you have to take your time and let that catch up, and then when you're warm and you're in your zone and you're moving and you're good, and you've got a nice sweat going, now you can settle it down, and that's what we're seeing here. I agree. See, the difference here is, uh, Rick Abani, Matt Taven has got his sweat going before he came out here. Yes. Jay Lethal didn't get his sweat going until five minutes, ten minutes into the match. Jay Lethal was just not getting warmed up, but he might have been hurt before he warmed up. And the way you can hurt something is by tearing something before it's warmed up. Wow, big drop kick. And that being the shoulder, that drop kick knocked him out on his feet. And let's talk about the X Factor. When it comes to World Championship matches, everybody who is qualified to wrestle for a World Championship is good enough to win a World Championship. So what it comes down to is psychology. And psychologically, Matt Taven, in my opinion, has a huge advantage tonight. I agree with you. And Taven taking his time, deliberate. See, now he's messing up. Yeah, this, I don't think that was deliberate. He's got to be careful. Yeah, children children should be seen and not heard, especially in Las Vegas. Up to his feet, right connects on lethal. Legal, lethal staggering here. I'll tell you, ordinarily, I would say it's not a good idea to jaw jack with the fans, but you know, he's got Jay in such a precarious position that this is this even will be having an effect on Jay psychologically because in his mind, he's thinking, geez, he's having time to hot dog with the audience. Oh! But he caught him with that power slam, but he can't follow up. Yeah, right this, is, shoulder. this is what we're talking about. You can create the opening, create the space, change the momentum, but can you follow it up? One, two, just a two count. There was literally five seconds in there before yes. Jay Lethal went back to that cover. Jay Lethal's hurt. Lethal now great binding of the legs, inverted Texas Cloverleaf here. And allowing Taven to grab for anything, just grabbing okay. the ears. Okay. The ears of Jay Lethal. Now turning it over. But look at his left arm, look at his left shoulder. He can't get the full leverage on this move because of that injured shoulder. Yeah, this is great offense, this great vine here from Lethal. We have not seen Lethal pull this out here in United States soil. And Taven in trouble, but Taven counters it into a, almost a pit. His shoulders are down. That's beautiful. His shoulders are down. There you go. Oh, now the, that, that right shoulder is up there. He's not gonna get a submission out of that, but he's buying time. I don't know. I thought the shoulders were down there, at least for a moment. Todd Sinclair thought otherwise. Yeah, but it was who's in control. It's about who's in control. And, and he made a judgment call, looking, looking for the submission there. As Lethal now boots to the midsection on Taven. If Taven would have grabbed something to put him in control, I believe he would have went for a count there. But Lethal was in control the whole time during that. So with the shoulders on the mat, that was definitely Turn referee discretion. No! Wow! Oh! Open hand! may have rung the bell, disrupted the equilibrium of Taven. Irish whip going from corner to corner is very difficult. If you've ever been chopped by those hands, they will make you forget who the president is. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, some Ooh. people might want to do that, but I'll tell you, you're right, Caprice. It takes you completely out of your game. Turn around! And in your, when you're in a world championship match, you have to be on your game all the time. Knife edge chop, it's Taven up and over. The agility of Matt Taven, that knee though. That knee buckled up, connecting with the chop. He's had so now, much trouble. Is that trouble. a legitimate he, injury or is he playing possum? See, I, at this point, know. I don't know. You never know with Taven, but if it is, we got a shoulder injury and a knee injury here. Oh. Taven up oh. and over, Ooh. and if it wasn't then, I think it is now. Yeah. Taven landing very awkwardly yeah. on the outside. Trying to rub some, some flow into the 
knee is Taven. And, and I admire Taven so much. That took me so, that, that was disgusting to say, but the way he worked back from that ACL tear, the MCL tear, and became an international star. And, and maybe to see it all collapse here in Vegas, that would actually break my heart. Well, I would agree, Taven has a heart of a champion. He's just going about it the wrong way. This is the night to do it, though. Both of these guys have to pull it all out. And lethal connects with one. And it's usually not just one. Talking to Chucky. Look at that. I thought the last time we'd see Chucky in wrestling was in WCW, and but here is, we are. And this is no child's play. No. Lethal has Taven around the head. Big uppercut there. This is where Jay's ego comes into play again. See, all of this time taken to call for it and set it up. He can't win the match on the outside. I don't understand it. No, he can't lead to low. Can I get with a second? Dive, splitting the distance between the ropes. The leap was not going to do something like that unless he knows he's got you. One more time. That takes so much out of you, though. Yes. We've seen it with Lethal, where early in the match, he's quick to recover. He's quick to get back to his feet. We haven't even mentioned the fact that he's delivering those those suicide dives with the shoulder, that, that injured shoulder. Yeah, well, that's not smart. I mean, he's uh, you know he's, he's putting himself at risk for the sake of what? To, to, get, to get an offensive advantage on the outside where he can't win the match. But you spoke earlier, Nick, about the champion's advantage. All he has to do... This hasn't got anything to do with the championship advantage, and This is about him showboating to these mouth-breather Ring of Honor fans. Well, there's one thing I've learned that Jay Lee can do. He can anticipate the cadence of his opponent. He anticipates the cadence of his opponents, which means he knows the move that he's going to make before he makes them. And here we go. Here we Off go the ropes. Three oh yes is a magic number. I told you. Somewhere in that ancient mystic trinity, there was three. That one had some salt and pepper on it, too. Absolutely. When you anticipate the cadence of your opponent, you know when they're going to get up. You know when they're going to sit down. You can almost tell when they're going to recover. And look at that, delivering, driving him through. Now, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak on this again. Yes, the damage done, is, is, sure, it's significant. But at the end of the day, Taven has had this time to recover and get his win, whereas Jay's been running across the ring, back and forth. And now he's in a situation where, yeah, he might have an offensive advantage, smart but move, smart move. his energy is depleted. That was a smart move from Taven. Ooh, but not smart to turn his back. I agree with, with the intelligence shown by Taven, but to just turn your back on the champ. Their commissar once said, don't turn around. In this case, it should have been eyes locked in. Well, Taven's in survival mode, but look at that shoulder. You see the redness on that shoulder there? That shows us inside bruising. Well, I think we might be seeing a little bit of rope-a-dope from Taven, too. He might know that the longer this match goes, especially with the injury, the more it favors him, because look at Jay favoring that shoulder. And he's goading him, goading him into hitting these suicide dives, taking that punishment, knowing that it's taking just as much out of Jay Lethal. I truly believe it is. You know, that's a great observation. I like to see how that plays out. I can't deny that. Two. Just a two count. Thank you, and you're welcome that I'm here helping you guys out so much. Hey, man, I'm going to speak for real, man. If you give me something that's good, I'm going to let you know it's good. If it's sorry, I'm going to let you know that, too. <laughs> Real's going to recognize Real in Vegas, and right now we are recognizing the greatest world champion in Ring of Honor history, Jay Lethal. Ian, don't ever say Real recognizes Real yeah. again. Do me a favor. Going against Matt Taylor. Well, don't disparage the Ring of Honor fans again. Yeah, we, how we do you translate that? Hey, look. I, look I, I call it like I see it. We've got a few people out here with some questionable breeding. Lethal with the kick to the knee. Things Lethal. are getting down and dirty here. Lethal has found a target, and he's going to stay with it. That's what a champion does. Well, and what did I talk about just a few minutes ago, gentlemen? I said Jay needs to pick a body part and go for it so that the, the advantage goes back to a neutral position. But I will say this. With Lethal picking the knee that is known to be injured of Taven, <laughs> That's showing that Lethal is doing whatever it takes to win. And shooting the half cover for two. Ooh, just a two count. And, he, the, and you see how he yeah. hooked that same leg. Yes, not only hooked it, but he grabbed the ankle. Yes. He grabbed the foot.
So when it kicks out, it torques it a little bit more. Hey, Caprice, I think I'm rubbing up on you out here. I ain't going to say all that, man. I'm too pretty for it. <laughs> <laughs> As the love fest continues at the broadcast position. Oh, look at this idiot, Todd Sinclair, as usual, wow. interjecting himself into a world championship match. Oh, Ooh. the opposite and is there occurring. There goes that the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. For Taven, it's the knee, lethal the shoulder. The bullseyes have been drawn. Absolutely. The chambers are loaded. Whoever gets the best shot will walk out of Las Vegas. The Ring of Honor world champion will face Marty Skrull at Madison Square Garden. Single arm DDT. And the punishment is accumulating to the point where Jay Lethal may have nothing left. Yeah. There's a part of adrenaline that, that helps you do stuff, but then there's a part that is shut off a body part. And if you get to the point where it shuts off, there's nothing he's going to be able to do with it, even if he wants to. I got to tell you something. These guys have been cutting a pretty impressive pace. And I don't, I haven't really seen a situation yet in this match where I feel like one has a distinct advantage over the other. I haven't really felt like we're close to a finish yet. I agree. It's, it's still anybody's match. Absolutely. Atmosphere in here is unbelievable, guys. You can cut the electricity, the tension with a knife. The fans watching as Matt Taven slowly pulling apart, almost ripping out the arm from the socket. I will tell you this. If his shoulder's dislocated, that's the way to pop it back in. He's got that cross arm breaker on. He's not fully hyperextending the elbow there, but he's because he's opting to put that foot right in Jay Lethal's face. And I think that this is, again, where he could, he could lock that out but he's trying to get a bit personal with it. Shoulder to the mat. Instead, it's Taven regaining position. Now great finding his own legs for a leverage purpose, but it's allowing Lethal to get that arm back in a more flexed state to relieve some of the pressure and try and lock his own arms. Yeah, the only thing he could do now is try to roll over and put Taven in a pinning situation to force him to let it go. See, oh, here we go. He See, now yeah. he locked it out. Two. Ooh. Yeah, that's what he has to do to get Only rid of chance he had. Oh, oh kick right to the shoulder. Yeah, that's smart. I mean, I can't deny it. That's smart. He's staying on it, but he's also still recovering. Taven is fighting a world championships match here. He's showing all the tools. And look at this. Wow. Going for a cross face here. This could be it. Yeah, he's got those hands locked. Instead, a just goes under the neck. Randy positioning is perfect. Oh, look and at that shoulder. Sometimes we forget how strategic Mac Taven can be. He's proven why he's where he's at right now. This is a very great game plan. I can't deny that. Well, and he's got long limbs, long legs that put to gives him a great leverage advantage, especially in a hold like this. He's wrenching it back. Nowhere to go but up for Lethal, and that's where he's trying to go now, trying to roll out. Taven holds uh, on. Taven uh, keeping it locked in. Yeah. Yeah. Had that yeah. scouted. Look yeah. at the face of Matt Taven. Jay. Look at the intensity. Give up, Jay! The Give only up. thing that is saving Lethal right now is the fact that he's got that arm bent, and the pressure is mildly relieved. It's allowing him to almost yeah. army crawl toward the no, ropes. No, I disagree. The only thing that is keeping Jay Lethal from tapping is the true heart of a champion. His heart. Look, that's the only thing that's keeping him. Oh. He's got heart. Jay, yep. come on. But it may Jay, be, it, it may be all she wrote. There's no way out of that. Ah. There we go. Lethal getting to the ropes, breaking up the submission. Yeah, but the damage is done. And how long was he in that in that series of submissions? Yeah, maybe close to a minute and a half, two the minutes. The title is on the line. And it what? doesn't matter if you're injured. At this point, all of that goes out the window. The adrenaline and the knowledge that the title is on the line is going to make it where these guys are almost, I mean, I know he's favoring the shoulder, but he's impervious to pain. Both of these guys will be. It's not going to be a situation where they give up from the pain. It's going to be a situation where their body fails them. Well, Lethal has proven to be one that the only way you can beat him is by knocking him out. That's just it. If he's conscious, he's going to kick out. I thought you were the champ. If I want a kiss, I'll call your mother. Ooh. <laughs> you know Ooh. Yeah, a see, headbutt see. for Lethal. Yeah, Knife edge chop yeah. delivers. I love it. Yeah. Rocking Taven. Let's Damn. get personal. Let's yeah. get down and dirty. Notice you took, you took, oh. oh my goodness, you oh. took the words out of my mouth. Hey, in for a penny, in for a pound. If you're going to make it personal, make it personal. Get all the way in their head and stay there. Yeah, I've never heard that before, but I understood what it meant. Driving Good, the learning. shoulder into the mat. Taven back with the advantage here in this world championship match. 
two athletes have been going at it tooth and nail. Back and forth. I would have expected you to say goose a gander or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking around this crowd, and everybody is focused on this. Everybody fixated on the two men in the middle of the ring. Everything's on the line. You can't help but be. These guys are putting on a phenomenal performance here. And these guys, both of them, have shown heart. And that's something, you know, I really can honestly say I didn't expect from Taven. But Taven's proven me wrong here. Taven has shown that he can legitimate beat lethal, but he has to do it. Knee to the midsection, and it's lethal who's firing back with a big right hand. Did you see that punch, though? That was a very lackadaisical point. Taven up. Yeah. Ooh. One face. Falcon arrow suplex. Notice how, he, notice how he opted to drop him down face first instead of take him over for the standard suplex. Why? Because of the injured shoulder. Absolutely. When you go face first, you have to try to protect yourself. And when you protect yourself, you're re-injuring that arm. Very good, Aldis. Eyes and ears of the world are watching this one. Certainly are. Taven loves that frog splash off the top. And if he hits it, he's going to leave Las Vegas. I think it's too early, though. The Ring of Honor World Champion, Matt Taven. Yeah. Nobody home. Yeah. He but had Taven him. was ready. Yeah. Lethal combination. But is that all the world champion has? Yeah, what? normally he goes to the top for that and tries to finish with that hill to the king. But he can't do anything. He's hurt. He had to buy time. And right now, he is huffing and puffing as he gave everything he had to hit that lethal combination. It's created an opening. It's created space. Hey, as a very brilliant, handsome man once said, it's nut cutting time. What? Who's got it? Who's got what it takes to be the Ring of Honor world champion? Finding out right now, Lethal blocks three strikes with three axe handles. And it's Lethal with the knife edge chops off the ropes. Irish whip reverse. Now it's Lethal sending Taven to the mat. Close line sends Taven down again. It's a Gary rattle like Taven. Woo. Yes, sir. That's some nut cut time right there. Lethal stalking Taven. Elbow. That's a mistake. Calling his shot. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Hey, I heard it from ringside. You know Matt Taven heard oh, it. 100 percent. But I'll say the only worst thing about that is be, is calling something out and there's nothing you can do about it. But if you heard well, it, it does prepare you. Well, he better, but look, Taven's already up to his feet. Yeah. Taven connects on Lethal. Huge error in judgment from Jay Lethal there. I'm just gonna say it. The adrenaline flowing. It's Taven and Lethal. And it's about to get dangerous. Well, if there's any, if there's a kink in Jay Lethal's armor, Look I will say it's, it's sometimes he calls out his move before he does it. Look at the intensity of Matt Taven. They're going all the way up. We're in the high altitude situation, boys. Certainly are. This could decide the world championship. Whoever leaves, better for the wear here, as both men are perched on the second rope. And Taven's going all the way to He's the top. He's going all the way to the tippy top. Lethal delivering blows to the midsection. Connecting on Taven. Taven now down to the mat. Taven hit hard on his left hip. Lethal climbing to the top. Oh, what, oh, the, what? Hell? what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? I told you. See? I told you. Oh, no! And it's In Marcellia! Are you serious? With the baseball bat! And if this is the way, the world Here comes Grisham. Time. He's out, number but the champ has been hit with a bat, a bat, and this is garbage. I told you you had to watch out for what else Taven had up his sleeve. I don't know where I'm from, that's called assault. I'm not necessarily saying I agree with it, but I'm just saying that I had it in the back of my mind. And Gresham's on the outside, the attention clearly drawn to referee Todd Sinclair. Oh, God. This is, oh, this could be ugly. Was he? Oh! oh! Oh, he just. Get these pieces of human what trash happened? out of here! What happened? We need some help from the back. <laughs> we need to get these idiots out of here. Meanwhile, look, look what's happening in the ring. This is what I'm talking about. Both men are down. These guys have brought a chair and they brought a bat in. They're doing what they want to do, and nobody's doing anything about it. I tell you, Matt this, Taven. This, this is what you want as your world champion. Let's get him, baby. Let's put him away for good. Let's put him away for good. Put him away for good. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Can we get, we need security out here, we need referee, we need anyone we can. The, the world title is on the line. World championship on the line. I can't believe it's gonna be decided this way. This is, well, this is a gross, this is a, this is a separate fight that's taking place now though because you know, they're, they're focused on Gresham. Uh, Lethal and Taven are in the ring. There we go. Oh, here we goes go. Lifeblood. Go. Lifeblood is here. Haskins. Williams. And, and this is the match we were supposed to see. Yeah. And they're spoiling for a fight. Easy. And the kingdom showing their true colors. Look at, but look at the ring. Yeah. When the look what's going even. on in the ring. Look what happens when the score is even. The cowards at the kingdom are. Oh, oh. no. Oh, God, Look no. out, look out. This is crap. No, Taven. No. New champion. No. New champion. Not like oh, this. Not One, like this. Two. Whoa. No. Thank God. Thank God that Jay Lethal kicked out because that would have been the biggest miscarriage of justice in Ring of Honor history. I have to agree with you. Gresham's being carried out of here. The kingdom have left with yellow bellies. But look at this, calling his shot, low blow, right in the ambag. Belvedere connecting, then the climax. If you ever needed an example of the heart of a champion, you just saw it. Hooking the leg. Absolutely, I gotta Two. hand it to him. And home He had three. the leg hooked, he had body on body, and he only got two. But what does Jay have left? That is the question. Baseball bat shots, a low blow, the climax. That might have been all lethal could take. Climax again, no. Holds onto the arm, Irish whip reverse, ducks down, instead it's Steven. Wow, rolling through, neck breaker. He's had an answer for everything, and now he's going up top again. Now if he, hits, he can hit this frog fast here, he can hit it here. Then we'll have a new champion, Caprice, I have no doubt about it. Matt, hey Matt. Oh, he got all of that. One, yeah. two. No! I can't believe it. No! My God. This is another side of Jay Lethal. I've always thought if you get him real and if you get him rocking, you can beat him. But he's showing you can't beat him even when you've got him like this. Jay Lethal every day has proved that he deserves the mantra of the greatest Ring of Honor world champion. But well, you can't go for it twice. That doesn't work in anybody's book. franchise. And now Taven. Frog splash! Knees connected to the midsection! Yeah, wait a minute. One, two, oh! So close! Oh! Connor! Connor! Yep. Beautiful presence of mind That's and it. really brilliant transition from the champion. That's it. But I think he's just using to, to get space, to create space to recover. Jay has got to dig down deep. Whatever is left, whatever is left he, in the tank, he's Nick. in serious trouble. Cover, There's a cover! Two, who? He yeah. may have the advantage now, but long-term, Taven is still in the driver's seat. Taven has hit him with everything he's got, Caprice. I don't know. When you hit that cutter, man, he evens the score. But if he gets that spring on that cutter, it's over. I don't care what anybody says. Well, so, to your point, delivering the standing cutter there likes to get that extra momentum yeah. and the lethal injection. Would that have been the difference? Taven showing a different side of Taven, showing the heart, the determination, all the all the credentials that make a world champion. Both of these men deserve the title. Only one man can go into Madison Square Garden, the champion. Will it be lethal? Will it be Taven? We will find out in Las Vegas. The Knife edge chop connects. In the Women of Honor match, we talked about money in the bank, and the question is, who has made the smarter investments in the early going of this matchup? I think Taven. Well, that would be Taven, but we're definitely seeing why Jay Lethal is the world champion. The fans here in Las Vegas evenly divided. Taven. And I gotta say, they're, they're almost pro Taven at this point. No, it's still even. When he's laying those shots in, he's not just laying them in, he's talking to him while he's doing it. This is so personal. This is such a rivalry. Five years in the making. These two men who feuded over the world television title. Here they go. Find themselves. So dangerous. Throw the catches, catch can out the window, and let's have a brawl ski. Irish rip now reversed. Springboard caught. There it is, that torture rack. Oh, yeah. Taven. The lethal rack. 
He'll be your hero. He's gonna finish him by dropping him. Yes, sir. What a move. But how much did that take out of his shoulder? He's immediately trying to cover, though. Two. Ooh. And he and could not get any leverage on that cover because of that injured shoulder. Yeah. He, he had to go for the cover, but he also had to leave that shoulder exposed where he kicked out. And the reason why he laid on him on his back is because that arm was the only arm that could hold that leg up. And I'll tell you, when you cover someone with your back, you always leave yourself open for the crucifix counter. Yeah. I've won championship matches with that exact counter. That's how I know. I beat Cole Cabana with that, by the way, in case you keep in score at home. I was sizing up Taven. Well, maybe you should. You might learn a thing or two. It's Lethal, the world champion, looking to deliver the knockout shot on Taven. Mm. Charging in. Fireman's carry position. It's Lethal oh, yeah. with the Spicoli driver running. That's Lethal going to the top. We know what this sets up for. Certainly do. Jay Lethal's tribute. A very effective one at that. Hail to the no. king. Oh, caught. Crucifix two. Ooh. Oh. What did I just talk about? The crucifix counter. He went for it, but look. There put, we go. Put a little Ric Flair trip on again. It. The figure four. Figure four locked in. And that knee trying to get the blood flow yeah. back. That's your NWA reference right there, champ. Taven. This has got to be it, Taven. Taven is going through hell right now. Yeah, we're going to see a real, a real test of heart right here. Look at that trash talking. He's ripping and tearing at that knee, and he's talking to him while he's doing it. What does Matt Taven Whoa. have? That knee has been surgically prepared more than once. Ooh. He knows enough to kick out. Look at Taven. He, he desperately. His He's got to turn dreams. him over. He's got to turn him over. Can he do it? He's got the leverage. Certainly does those long legs. Wow. Taven. Taven has done it. Taven has reversed the figure four. Yeah, he's too close to the ropes. He is. He's too close to the ropes. Lethal but may have ingested his own he's poison. He's close to the ropes, but he, he's got to reach with wow. that left shoulder. He turned him back over. Lethal See, with the antidote here. Not only, not only is that hard of a champion, but he's not going to bend the rules even if he has a legal chance to. Two. Whoa. He would not have been breaking the rules if he would have done that. Well, I'll tell you something else as well, because right now, because of that injured shoulder, this is a very advantageous position for Jay because he's using his legs. Yep. He, took a, he took a moment there. He could have gone to the ropes, but instead, he tried to turn it back over because he knows this is as good a chance as he's had all match to win the belt. Oh, and Taven, Taven's so close, almost winding up to tap. Oh, look at this. Retching look at that. In. Oh, but Taven, lethal, sensing he was on the precipice of getting the tap, yeah. allowing the space to be created. Every time he went up, Taven inch closer and finally grabbing the ropes. Yeah, the but damage the damage is done. Is done. There you go. <laughs> Lethal. Lethal does not know what to do. Taven just said, calling over Todd Sinclair, saying he's destroyed his knee. And this is Todd Sinclair's match to call here. He's got to use referee's discretion. If Taven can't compete, that is a reasonable decision to make. Uh, now, this is what I want to see from Jay Lethal. I want to see a bit of that mean streak. But I think that would be the last thing Taven needs to say, because if he hears him say that, he could call the match off. I don't want to see any more. Kissing babies and shaking hands. No more politician BS. I want to see him get nasty. Oh. Just driving the heel into the knee, the heel oh. of that boot. Well, how, much, how much nastier can you get to the back oh, to the look face? Oh, look at this. Yeah, at great finding the legs now into Two, the ropes. Three, four. Lethal using, using tactics we haven't seen from Lethal in quite some time. Willing to bend the rules and, and hasn't reached that stage of the match, Nick, where Lethal feels like he has to do anything. No, go, to put uh, go ahead, Ian. No, go ahead. I know you're the president of the Jay Lethal fan club, so why don't you call it like you see it? He's bending the rules. He's well, cheating. He just got hit in the face with a bat. Are you kidding me? I'd be hey, Matt Taven, Matt too. Taven didn't do that. Oh, Taven. He didn't do it, but I guarantee he strategized it. Look at this. And now, teeter totter, the fulcrum is the rope, and we're seeing Lethal and Taven. You're Shots to the midsection. You never forget anything. I'm not supposed to. That's how you Look become a historian. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. God. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. 
Freeman driving lethal through the table as we take a look now at the replay. Steven getting the final leverage point. Oh my, two to Oh, and that shoulder. Lethal finding a way. This could be it. To the twist out over. of it. I think this match is over. In Ring of Honor, there is a 20 count. Matt Taven coming yeah. into the ring at nine. He's getting in, but. You can't win this on the count out. Right. You can't win the title on the count. Matt Taven has to beat Jay Lethal. Yeah. Jay Lethal doesn't have to beat Matt Taven. Right. You know, Nick, despite your accusations, I'm not the president of the Jay Lethal fan club, but I will say this. If I'm Jay Lethal, I stay down until 20, live to go into Madison Square Garden, and fight another day as the Ring of Honor World Champion. Uh, maybe, it's that simple. But maybe, but this is, you're gonna talk about, when you're a champion, you gotta be box office. And if you go into Madison Square Garden knowing that you, could, you couldn't win your last title defense, that's a huge knock to your ego, and it's not very good for business. Well, we both know Jay Lethal's not going to do that, and Matt Taven just realized he can't win the title that way. That's why he's going to take and put Lethal back in the ring himself. He wants to win the title. Taven now bringing Jay Lethal back to his feet. This crowd has been on its feet for the better part of the last five to ten minutes. Now Witnessing Lethal's in trouble. This great world title match, an instant classic. Going for the cover, two, woo! I, I can't believe my eyes. Not enough to hook the leg, just got body on body, and that might have been what cost him there. But he's been hit in the face with a bat. He's went through a table. The climax, he's the big frog climax, splash. climax, frog splash, and he's still kicking out. But to Taven's credit, let, let's listen what happened to Taven. Taven tweaked the knee earlier in the match. He survived a minutes long figure four. He survived the inverted Texas Cloverleaf. He yeah, survived yeah. so and he much. Survived, as well. And he survived that outside interference from Gresham, too. Let's not forget about Are that. Are you Gresham kidding me right now? Hand on Taven. Come on, Nick, you're doing so well. Oh! Actually, liked being out with here. you here. Uh, the king, uh, you know, oh. Kingdom were out here to support their, their, their brethren. And then Lifeblood and Gresham had to come out here and start a brawl at ringside. Yeah, support with a baseball bat. That's how you do it. Yeah. And Taven oh. connecting with a kick to the side of the head. So not only to the side of the head, but yeah. to that left shoulder. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Look at this rapid fire from Taven. And I gotta love this strategy. Uh. Oh! If he has. Oh, oh. Taven has oh. lethal backpack stunner, hooking the legs to Woo. Able to just roll Taven off of him just in the nick of time. That was close. He's past survival mode. That was closer than close. Lethal's past survival mode in instincts. I don't know where Lethal's grabbing this from. It's Lethal's history of championship defenses. I think back to the, the great at matches him. against AJ Styles, against Roderick Strong. It's taking everything just for him to stand to his feet. We see Taven, though, has a history of his own, looking to create history. Oh. Just dropping Lethal, driving him but down. I Lethal see Lethal's hard. Yeah. Oh. Cover, two, and three, no, just a two count. And notice the hand placement. He put both his hands all his way on that left shoulder. Yeah, look at his eyes. His eyes are glassy. As we take a look here at Las Vegas, they have been into every second of this match. Taven and Lethal, so evenly matched so far, have divided this crowd, and it's Lethal! Oh. Lethal with the climax! The phrase you were looking for, Caprice, is what's good for the goose is good for the gander. There you go! Two! No! All this, we disagree a lot, but I got a lot of respect for you, man. That's a great call. That's when you know that someone respects you when they've studied you enough that they know your own moves and use them against you. Absolutely. Uh-oh. He's number one. Oh, that's not what he's saying, Caprice. Oh, it's not. Yeah, he's trying to get back the psychological advantage. He's here we go again. Oh! He's goading Jay here. But Lethal, just the tip of the knee. From, from Lethal to Taven with love. Next Taven's shot. gambling here. Yep. He wants Lethal to empty the gas tank. Lethal injection! That's it! it. Lethal injection! That's it. Valiant effort. He's That's going it. to the garden. Yep. One, two, and three. What? No. Are you kidding me? You can count on a malformed hand. The amount of people. Listen to this crowd. You can count on one hand, Caprice, the amount of people that have kicked out of that as we take a look at the replay. 
away. Back hands right. Lethal the injection. Taven is not one of them. A malformed hand. That means you don't have all Look your at that front row man. right there. Look at these people. Stunned. How did this crowd start and where are they at now? It's 50-50 in here. Matt Taven has won some of this crowd over. I, I think it's 75-25. I think the challenger has got people believing I, here. I in think Vegas. these people are finally starting to see through Jay Lethal and see who he really is. Oh, no, give me a I break. believe Taven has shown he can be champion. Taven has went up a couple of notches in my book. He's definitely proven himself tonight, but Lethal's went up a couple of notches as well. Oh! That's the lethal I'm used to seeing. That's the lethal I know. Cutter connects on the apron. They're outside the ring again. Where do we go from here? Where well, do we go? How long have these guys been fighting? Well, they, they take a look at the replay here. The and look cutter. at that. Look at, do you see how his knee connected with the ring apron there on the way down? Uh, absolutely. And I also saw the sternum being split by the apron as well. Almost cut in half. The human body. Oh, oh my God! Again. See? again! These guys will not be able to. Somebody move might be leaving here in an ambulance. Yeah. Once the adrenaline shuts down, these guys are going to be hurt bad. 11 count. Lethal in. Now look at Lethal trying to take the cheap win oh, here with the count out break. Are you kidding me? Uh, he might. He may. He may well be the greatest Ring of Honor World Champion, but he's never faced me. Oh, my God. That's the kind of integrity we're talking about here, gentlemen. Taven back in. Why does everything got to be about you? We're seeing yeah. an instant classic yeah. here. Ian, I've Taven. been calling the action like a total pro all night. You think I can't at least get a little business for myself? Taven and Lethal giving it everything they got. No, you're, look, 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 look. All, all kidding aside, these guys are giving everything they have. And they should. This is for all the marbles. This is the richest prize in Ring of Honor Wrestling. Well, we saw a table earlier. And Lethal introducing a table of his own. Go ahead, Ian. And What's this, happening right now? What's he doing? Yeah, What's your hero, this, Jay Lethal, doing now? What's is good for the goose a, is good for the game. This is a How mistake by Lethal. If there's an offensive move performed through the table, obviously referee's discretion. But I got to imagine Todd Sinclair, a man of integrity, a man empowered by the Ring of Honor Board of Directors. I, I got to think that that would be his discretion to disqualify somebody. I can't somebody. believe you're using integrity and Todd Sinclair in the same sentence. But that's another story for another day. Let's talk about the integrity of your hero, the world champion, Jay Lethal, setting up a table, a foreign object, on the outside of the ring at the 17th anniversary of Ring of Honor, no less. I, honor. I can't argue with you, Nick. I really can't. I know you can't, because I can I'm right. I can argue. Were you not around when he got hit in the face with a bat? Hey, two, wrong, hey, two he wrongs don't make a right. They call this the moral police, says Jay Lethal. They call this the real team. world's champion, the national treasure. Lethal delivers a nice shot. This has degenerated into a barroom brawl. Lethal setting Taven up on the table. This one's for you. Oh! Oh, they're talking to each other. I love it. Open hand across the chest. Now say what you will about the moral turpitude, but it's gotten personal, and that is good for business, boys. I think it's been personal. Look at Where this. Where is Jay going? Lethal, now brought down. No and way. Oh, oh, God! Right on the shoulder! Right on the shoulder! Did you see yeah. the adjustment on the way down, Caprice? On the shoulder, on the head, on the hardest part of the ring. Jay put himself in that position because he went up top, and I don't know, I think he might have got caught in two minds there. I don't know what he had in mind, but it was enough to let Taven capitalize, yeah. and now he's in serious tell, tell, trouble. Tell me what he's doing now, Aldis. Tell yeah. me what he's doing. Yeah, I, I need to hear it from you. What's, What's going on well, here, Taven's Aldis? retaliating to Jay uh -huh. Lethal's introduction oh, I thought, of the foreign object. Yeah. Two wrong, two wrong yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm not, saying I, I'm not saying I agree yeah. with it. Where's, okay. Where's your sweater, Mr. Rogers? I'm no. not saying I agree with it. I'm no. just telling it like it is. No goose and no ganders on this one? A ladder which is used to adjust the lighting rig by the gaffers here at the Great Sam Town Live Casino and Entertainment Complex in Las Vegas. I'm glad you said that, Rick Abani. Some people don't know how the ladder gets under the ring, and that's exactly how. Jay, it's time for you to learn that I'm Matt Taven, mm. the real 
Ring of Honor World Champion. Oh, God, Taven. You know what, he's saying that, but you know when he said it, he really believes it. He's proven a lot of it tonight. You've got to believe it. Yeah. And, and Lethal's in the danger zone right now. Notice how he said real Ring of Honor World Champion, because he knows the real Wells Champion sitting at ringside right now. Lethal dropping down to a knee. Dropping down to a knee. And rolling in, tucking the clothesline. It's Lethal with a big drop oh, kick. This oh. is dangerous. Taven preventing what would have been Hey, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, he's let, right now he's wide open for, if, I, if he's going for what I think he is. Oh, drop kick! Taven's going to fall in his own grave that he dug. You mentioned unforced errors earlier in the night, and you are absolutely right, Caprice. And he may get his comeuppance here. Todd Sinclair's letting a lot of this go. And I think he's doing the right thing by, by allowing that. He knows how personal this is. He knows there was no way that you were going to... That these people are not going to be satisfied with a disqualification or a count out. So he's letting these guys go and letting them go for it, letting them play. If Sinclair disqualified this match, a literal riot yes, would break out. I agree. Lethal sizing up Taven. And I think at this point in the matchup, both guys know that they're going to they're get a little leeway from the official. What's he thinking? So it's a level uh, playing field. What There's is no Jay Lethal thinking? Even, what is even if, on his mind? Even if he hits it, this is, this even is, if he hits it, this will take this so This is unwise, much lethal. But, very unwise. But we both know what to expect from here. This is a bad idea. There's, you're right. Aldis, you're 100% right. This, this is, leads to no good. This is lose-lose for Lethal. He's pushing all the chips to the center of the table. Oh, Don't do it, Lethal. Oh, good Lord. No. Oh, my oh. God. That's career shortening right there. That could be career ending. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Lethal. Huge mistake. Looking for the knockout blow instead. Finds himself. Knocked out on the ladder. Look at Taven. Look at Taven. Smart. Job. Taven's Taven. getting some water. He's getting his bearings. Take a look at Very the replay. Oh, there's oh my so God. much. Oh. There's so much that could go wrong. Even if you connect with the elbow, you could blow out a knee, an ankle, elbow, anything. his hip, yeah. his ribs. knee, his ribs, ribs, all connected with solid steel. Yeah. Instead, it was all of the above. All of the above connected. I, be I, I believe it. And you hear Todd Sinclair asking the world Jay, champion if he can continue. Jay, Jay's not going to say he can't continue. Is he able to say if he can continue or not? Well, he's able to say it, but even if he could, he wouldn't say it. These guys look like they've been in a car accident. Yeah. Our, our great camera team here, our camera crew getting right in the middle of the action. Well, let's be real, Aldis. Anytime we step in the ring, we're legitimately going into a car accident voluntarily. 100%. I gotta tell you something. You know who I you know who's loving this right now? Marty Skrull. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna challenge for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Because you don't recover from a matchup like this in a couple of days. My you don't God. recover from a matchup like this in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And the garden is how far away? You, you know what's scary? Less than a month. What's scary is the report that comes out tomorrow. The injury list report that comes out tomorrow. You don't know what's going on now. You just know these guys are hurt. But there's a list of injuries that is always produced after pay per view. And, 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 and I guarantee Skull, these guys are If I'm Marty Skull, I'm licking my lips at the prospect of this. And in fact, I'm licking my lips because if Marty Skull wins the Ring of Honor World Championship, wow. then he and I will face each other at the Crockett Cup, and it could end up in a champion versus champion situation. Now, that's the way you play. Plug a match there, and then I'll be the real Wells champion, Look undeniably. Here we, yeah. we have I agree. Out. It looks like it's a member of the Ring of Honor staff. Of course, so many of the staff were used earlier to chase no, out, no, 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 no. to chase out lifeblood. Jay Lethal saying no. Oh, wait, wait a minute. So, so, so uh, let me get this straight. So these guys get to come out and help Jay Lethal, hey, but Jay Matt Taven, leave him alone. They're, you're in the middle of a match. I agree. Leave I him agree. alone. I agree. Wait and Matt Taven taking matters into his own hands. Get him in the ring and pin him. This Taven. is it. Could it be? Cutter! Oh my goodness. Cutter! Just oh. the tip of the knee. Fuck the line. Get it done. No. That's it. No. Oh. oh my goodness. What is it going to take? Stay on him. Stay on him. You have to stay on him. Don't talk to the referee. Don't worry about the people. Stay on Jay Lethal and win that championship. But after you've done so much, you've hit him with your best. That's the only thing going through your mind. What will it take? 
Oh, got him! Again! Again, just the tip of the knee! Taven could be the 25th man to hold the title! Oh. He could go into the garden! Taven, this could be your night! Lethal eyes are it's closing! Over. It's over! Look at his eyes! He's not responding! Yeah. Come on, Matt, finish now, him. Don't mess gonna, around with him. Wake, yeah, he's gonna wake Don't him get up cute now. with him, finish oh. him! Oh. Disgusting! Despicable! Is this about the title, yes, or is man. this about the hatred for each other? Uh, it's both. Think about the title, Matt. Oh, Taven! I've lost count five or six. What knees. a way oh, to lose the championship. Two. No! Oh. I, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Lethal was stiff. Lethal was not stiff. I think that, I think that disrespect may have woken him up. Yeah, that's why I said when he slapped him, he woke him up because before that he was knocked stiff. When you knock somebody stiff, they're not in control of their body anymore. And that's the only way to beat Lee. Everybody in the building is Look on, this their, place. Feet. on yeah. their feet. Look at this place. They're on their feet. Everybody is on their feet. This has been a clinic, but this has also been a war. And Caprice, I don't think they care about what comes tomorrow. It's all on the line. The only thing that they're thinking about is leaving here, champion. Let's go, It is it's so happening. loud in here, we can barely hear ourselves. There is no tomorrow. No! Oh! Cutter! Out of the air. But can he cover? He's got to cover. He's got to hook a leg. Could it be? Cover! That's One, it. One, two, That's it. and three. No! No! Todd, Todd, how he, much longer can you let this go? He was in, Todd was in perfect position. He has called this right down the middle. This is why he's the senior referee. Look how long this match has been going on That's and everybody exactly in the arena say. is on their feet. Let's, but you, you touched on something there, Caprice. I don't have a timer on this, but how long have we been going here? This is crazy. Lethal and Taven. Five years in the making. Their careers and their paths intertwining. At this point in the matchup, every decision you make is absolutely imperative because there is so little left in terms of energy and stamina. I don't think they can move. That every move you make has to be effective. I don't think they can get to their feet. It's got to be whoever plays to win and whoever doesn't play to lose. Whoever can land that knockout blow, whoever can land that knockout blow and win the championship, who's listen, got? Listen, they're trash talking again. Yeah, this is so all, personal. That's all they got is the mouth left. Their bodies are done. But I'm Both telling you, if one of these two can put that to the side and focus on I, strategy, I then you. they're going to come out of this the winner. I guarantee it. This is the only match I've seen where hate has actually filled the intentions of this match. I don't think that they'd still be going if they didn't hate each other as much as they do. Yeah, you're right. Oh! We're gonna slug it out in Sin City, boys. It's the champion! Challenger! Uh, don't worry, he will. Oh, challenger, nice. and now both the champion and the challenger back to their feet. Oh my God. It's a Gary, rattle it, Taven. He wants him back to his feet. He's ready. Oh! That one was flush on the chin. Super kick. Oh, Super and again. Kick. Whoa! Lethal is going to the garden. Lethal injection. The franchise is going to the garden. That's it. Oh. is the only word I can describe. What are we witnessing here? The, wait a minute. Got to get an official word here. I, official for what? Bobby Cruz is handing the championship to Todd. The bell rang. It's, it's a draw. The match is a draw. 60 minute time limit. He's saying. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the 60 minute time limit has expired. Oh my the God. The official decision of this match is a time limit draw. No way. What a heartbreaker. Yeah, I wanted to see an ending to that. I wanted to see, after all, Taven survived. After all, Lethal went through. It's an instant classic. What an unbelievable battle. We saw everything. These two men gave everything they had. Uh, these people what? want five more minutes, but that's How? not in the rule book yet. That's not possible. Five more minutes! Five more minutes! Not this, gonna happen, yeah, guys. These guys aren't good. even moving. Not in the rule book. Yeah, lethal, uh, Lethal's not even moving. Taven desperately trying to get blood flow back to the knee, desperately trying to get his knee pad off. These guys are hurt. The crowd has to see yeah, the, what's the, going on here. There's not possible guys, five more guys, minutes. Guys, what does this mean for Madison Square Garden? Yeah, Jay Lethal is still the Ring of Honor World Champion, but there's a huge asterisk next to that statement now. I, I gotta think it's Lethal versus Skrull. But well, where does that leave Taven? In my mind, I, you know, you can, you can talk about survival of the fittest and everything else. And speaking oh. of survival of the fittest, the man that won survival of the fittest, the villain Marty Skrull. I told you. What an it, it, Nobody benefits from this more than Marty right now. And down the road, nobody might benefit more than this than me. Marty Skrull. This could be a picture of what's to come. This Things could be foreshadowing into place for the villain. And I'm telling you, wait a minute. Possession is nine tenths of the law. And, and Marty Skrull. Looks good, right? It does look good. I gotta agree with him. Marty Skrull could be the Ring of Honor World Champion. Once G1 Super Card is concluded. Oh my goodness. That's not how you do it. That's, that's what I want to see. Because then I get the I get the chance to beat the Ring of Honor World Champion at the Crockett Cup. But look at the two guys in the ring. Either yeah, one of these you. guys to be champion. Taven might have punched his ticket to Madison Square Garden. Taven, he very well could have. He in my mind, Matt him. Taven is the number one contender. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he might have punched his ticket to Taven Madison did, Square Garden. Taven did everything that he could to, to walk out of here the Ring of Honor World Champion. And fans, I know there's more questions than answers right now when it comes to the Ring of Honor World title. We do know Marty Skrull will be competing for the Ring of Honor World Championship at Madison Square Garden. We assume he will face Jay Lethal. Uh, my producer telling me here we will have some sort of decision coming up on Ring of Honor social media yes. on ROHwrestling.com. Yes. But uh, I don't want to take anything away. We just witnessed one of the greatest Ring of Honor World Championship yes. matches yes. that I've ever seen, I mean, that I've ever called. Madison Square Garden is down the road, but right now we have to talk about these two men in the ring who just gave everything they have. Well, I, I feel if there's any time you change a plan, this is when you do it. Taven what's, has just proven he can be world champion. Here. Yeah. What's going to happen? So th here. there has to be a decision made of what's going to happen in Madison Square Garden. These two guys hate each other so much. They, they may go again. Well, let's see what happens here. Marty Skrull has left with the championship. Taven looking at Lethal. Lethal at Taven. What a situation. Taven can barely stand. Lethal can barely compose himself. Wow. Wow. This ain't over. Clearly frustrated is Matt Taven and the world champion still Jay Lethal coming out of Las Vegas, Nevada here at 17th anniversary. Fans, you know, we've been talking a lot about Madison Square Garden. I understand there's more to come about that later tonight. We've been doing some great interviews for our social media channels. But right now, the picture says a thousand words. Yeah. It's Taven, it's Lethal, Marty Skrull, leaving with the title, Lethal, still the champion.